What is going on YouTube? What is going on collectors? Welcome to another episode of Comic Art Checklist and for this episode we're going to be doing an unboxing of a set. Actually it's not a set it's actually just a bunch of cards that I got from the Philippines and these are not your typical cards and some might call it uh, bootleg cards from the Philippines. Um, I'm not sure who made them and I'm not sure where you could get them but I've seen some of them and I've purchased a lot of them. I actually have many of them already but this is the latest batch that I got from the Philippines a couple of days ago. <clears throat> um, I purchased them I don't know how long ago but uh, sometimes the package arrives here like some of them are quick but they're expensive maybe like upwards of fifty dollars but it'll, it'll get here within like four or five days but and then there's one where uh, I guess it depends on the who they are using as the <clears throat> um, company who mails it from the Philippines to here in Virginia where I live but as you guys could see my desk is still full of stuff that I have to organize and um, I just have so much incoming new stuff that uh, uh, I can't keep my stuff organized but anyway enough with the long intro and let's open this up and let's see what we got from the Philippines <clears throat> but I think most of these were made in uh, the 1990s or maybe a little bit uh, after that maybe like 95 96 um, I'm not really sure because I, I don't know the origins origins of this but the cards are um, from the famous sets in the 90s which are the from what what we could see here the Flare Ultra 1994 I believe X-Men and then we have the 1994 uh, Marvel Flare, I think. It might be 95, but I think I think this is 1994 art. So it does have a white background or a white border around its uh, <clears throat> uh, around the picture. So let's see if we can recognize all of the cards here. I do see a uh, regular size cards in the back or maybe not oh it fell <laughs> I didn't even see this fall uh, so I think these are regular size cards but <clears throat> I'm not sure if there's any difference from the actual cards but they do look like promo cards because they have a white border around them which I don't really see for the for the 1992 um, I think this is the 1992 Ampel X-Men uh, yeah this card just looks weird uh, it doesn't have the same feel as the regular X-Men card but like I said like it's probably because it's bootleg and I'm not sure what the origin is, but they do have to see. They do seem to have this white border around them that the regular cards don't have. But I'm going to have to inspect them and have the actual cards uh, side by side. That that way I could see them better. <clears throat> but I'm just taking them out of the package uh, so I could easily show you guys uh, once they're all out of the package it looks like a lot of these are the 1994 Marvel flare I do have some of these already so I, I don't know how close I am to completing a set but I did get this uh, the seller told me that the cards in here came in this packaging so it looks like a 
like a wrapper for a pack but um, I've never seen this before so it looks like it's a little bit dirty but it does it does have some nice art to it it looks like there's no trademark there's no anything on it just just that nice art in the front with what looks like uh hmm let's see maybe human torch captain america i can't tell if this is vision or silver surfer wolverine war machine namor ghost rider i'm not sure who this guy is um hmm but the 1992 Marvel Universe uh, series three, I think. Uh, yeah, it does look and feel like uh, it's a rip, a re, a reprint, or something. But it does show a blue border around it, which the normal cards don't have, and it definitely looks like it's just a print off. Um, but I will have to compare it with a regular card, but it does look like it's just a copy. It looks like it has all of the regular copyrights or whatever. Um, I guess when you have this out, it would look like a regular card, but in person, yeah, you could, you could somewhat tell that it's a copy because it just doesn't feel the same um, but yeah I'll definitely show you guys these cards again when I when I get the chance to compare them with my actual sets but I guess that's for now that's the only way I could tell that their bootleg is because they're a little bit faded and then they have borders around them including this uh, including this X-Men right here and these are actually like I guess pretty good quality because all the cards I've been getting from the Philippines are like um, well if you guys didn't know Philippines is like a country full of islands it's like a thousand islands depending on if it's high tide or low tide and it gets humid there so a lot of the cards there are unless they store it somewhere where it's like you know um where it's maintained well, um, like inside a house or a building and it has like uh, central air or, you know, like not non high humidity or anything like that. Uh, cards tend to get destroyed. So yeah, cause Philippines is not really the best place for a uh, hobby such as card collecting. Uh, cause you know, there's a lot of uh, water and it's generally a poor country but of course there's always rich people in certain areas but most people don't have access to like central air or or the good the good um stuff like we have here in the u.s so um but anyway looks like we have uh half cards from what i could tell um i'm not really sure if these are actual card sizes but they look around the actual size let me see if i could compare them with a i guess i have a ultra ultraverse card here yeah they look they do look like the uh regular size so at least they got the correct um exact size <coughs> and let's see what we got looks like we have the 1994 Flare Ultra X-Men here. I'm not sure if it's the art or the same exact and everything in the the back is the same and it's just miniature. Um, it also looks like it's perforated so maybe the way they cut it they they break it up um, in perforation instead of actually cutting it but I'm not really sure. And it looks like they even copied the the mistakes on the on the foiling if, effect because some of them are like not aligned, 
which is a pretty common thing for the Flare Ultra X Men ninety four. Um, but yeah, you guys could see like uh, the perforations here and it's a little bit extra and definitely no foil and it looks like an exact copy so <laughs> and we got some more <clears throat> but they definitely look uh, like they weren't recently manufactured so I don't know how they were made in the Philippines but it does look like they're kind of old and a lot of them have uh, imperfections and they're all like sort of bent so I don't know I don't really know where they get these but they're definitely uh, not stored um, you know they're they're probably just thrown in boxes and not really like uh, I don't even know if they play with these so but I don't know I don't know how you would play with these cards but yeah you guys could see there's a bent there's a huge dent there and I'm not sure how many I got now but I am trying to complete a whole set um, yeah a lot of these have a lot of bends in them like they're really in bad condition but pretty much the best I'm gonna get for bootleg cards I guess <laughs> that were made in the Philippines <clears throat> here we got Phoenix I feel like I'm sh I'm just showing off a miniature version of the 1994 Fleer Ultra X-Men. But uh, these cards do fit in uh, nine pocket pages and you could put two of them together. So you could have 18 of these like lined up like that. So I, I'm not sure if I have this set yet, but I'm pretty close to completing the 1992. Um, I, yeah, I'm not sure how many I have for the 1994 Flare Ultra X-Men, but this is more like a Flare No Ultra. Oh, and this card seems to be a, a lot smaller than the others. Uh, Psylocke card. We got Random. So this was probably at like the bottom of a page, maybe, and then... The perforations are in this side. Looks like this is bottom also on the right corner again. Got multiple main. Got havoc. Warlock. And yeah, this set from the 1994 is uh, one of my favorite sets because. Of course, I grew up with this uh, when this set came out. Um, definitely uh, a lot of memories with these cards. Hmm. I don't know how many we have so far. My, we might have a whole uh, set, actually. <laughs> but... Yeah, I can't remember if this is a 100 set or a 150 card set. Because I just remember the 2018 uh, Fleur Ultra X-Men. It's uh, 75 superheroes and then 75 uh, super villains. And then you have uh, ten, uh, four different 10 card chase set and... That was like the new format but they did use the as far as styling they used the 1994 uh this uh pretty much exactly like this style where you have uh the um logo at the i don't know if it's in the exact corner but you do have like a logo of the Fleur ultra x-men and then you have the name like this in foiling and then you have uh the picture um in I don't know what you call it like I guess in in line form but uh, it shows you like uh, their power so pretty much the same exact thing uh, I don't really know how to describe it we got Jean Grey looks like uh, Wolverine was the other card here 
Speaking of, oh, I was wrong. Uh, I guess it's Saber Teeth. First thing I thought of was Wolverine. Wait, does that make sense? Because he has uh, five claws. One, two, three, four, five. And then I guess only the three middle part. Uh, so that, that tricked me a little because, yeah, he sh shouldn't he have five instead of three? But let's see. This should line up uh, perfectly well. Oh. <clears throat> hmm. It doesn't even look like they're taken from the same card because uh there's no there's preparation in this one and there's none on this side, so um I guess they didn't come out from the same uh uh the same paper or the same uh the same batch. <clears throat> We got, I can't even read his name. I think it's Hammer. Nammer? Hammer? Or a Warhammer. Yeah, I think it's Hammer. Well, I should have just turned it around. It was a lot easier to read it that way. <laughs> we got Mojo. Yeah, I haven't looked at my 1994 card set in a while. I've been, um, you know, busy collecting uh, all the new sets. So all of these are throwbacks. But then again, a lot of the new sets are, um, they're giving throwback vibes. Just like the the one we're going to do next is the uh, 1994 Flare. They've definitely... Uh, like the badge flare is exactly the same art as the 1994 and 1995 um, Marvel flare. So I forgot this guy uh, is dead. Just like in the movie, he died um, uh, because uh, Magneto, um, I can't remember. I think it was a coin. Professor X was freezing I guess had a hold on him because they were able to take off his helmet and then he froze him in place and then Magneto was able to um, place like a coin inside his head like a projectile. Yeah, I can't remember. It's been a while. I haven't seen that movie in so long and um, I'm thinking things are just like yesterday, you know, like maybe 10 years ago, but uh, you know, sometimes it feels like it's just 10 years ago, but it could have been like 15 years already, so juggernaut. Especially uh, like 9-11, because uh, I'm originally from New York, and I can't believe it's been like, you know, almost 25 years. But, and even COVID seems like a... Uh, uh, like it's already been like four years since COVID, so. And these cards are 1994, so 1994, um, 2004, 2014, 2024, so they're like 40. Well, I don't know about these cards. I don't know when they were made. I have no idea, uh. If they were made at the same at the same exact year that uh they were being produced and just being bootlegged, but if uh if they were, the, these cards would would also be forty years old. So um, they do look like they have age with them. So um, it looks like we are finished with the Flare Ultra, and we are now bootlegging nineteen ninety four Marvel Flare. So, I uh, can't really see the copper, right? But it might, I have to um, use like a regular card and place them side by side to see if there's any changes. But from what I've seen, most of the international cards um, have slight differences in them. I just have to examine them a little bit closer. But for the most part, I think these uh, replicas just are the exact uh, copy. But I know for the, especially for the flare, um, if you guys are familiar with the Marvel 
Pepsi set. They made a lot of different versions from them from different countries. And they're all slightly uh, a little bit different. Especially uh, three of them have different logos. Uh, some have the Pepsi New Generation. And then you have like a blue and yellow Pepsi, uh, Pepsi Ret Reto. And then you have just a basic Pepsi logo. And of course, they're all the same card in the front. But then in the back, it shows you different um, Pepsi. And then, yeah. Um, apparently, there's also a Brazil one that I that I was able to purchase. And it was called... Um, shoot, I'm forgetting the name. It was Pepsi... It was the equivalent of a drink in Brazil. But they don't call it Pepsi, so... Uh, I think it was called McDougal's actually, so, and I'm not really sure what McDougal's sell, what McDougal's is in Brazil, but I think it's also a drink or something along the lines of Pepsi, but I, I can't uh, remember on the top of my head, but of course I will uh, find out the answer to that question in once I do my episodes on those uh, card sets. And I'm not sure how many 1994 uh, Marvel Flare I have that are half cards like these. But hopefully I'm completing some of them. I definitely know I have a lot of the 1992 Marvel Universe. But I'm not sure how many of these ones I have. But of course the Marvel Flare, I have this version and also this version that I'll show you guys next. So it'll be uh, somewhat two different versions for the Marvel Flare, uh, but pretty much the same exact cards. So I'll have like a, the regular version, the Pepsi version, the Philippine bootleg version, with us, which is like ha this half cards. And then I'll have these uh, miniature miniature ones where uh this is the i think the same size as a half card uh even smaller but then since there's a huge white border around it it makes the card even smaller um but yeah um i don't have a complete set of these uh small ones because i just have like one person that uh that's selling them and I think I pretty much bought all of their stock. So <laughs> this is pretty much just their collection. And I think that's all we have for the flare. Oh, I almost forgot about this one. So for these white border ones, you have, the. it, it looks exactly like the card and then it's just a lot smaller. And I don't even know if this is, yeah, this is correct. So the, I think the higher ones aren't numbered. So everything is in English, at least. I'm used to seeing some of this in different languages because, uh, yeah, the Pepsi is in Spanish, I think. And I'm not sure what, if the Brazil one is in Portuguese or uh, Spanish as well, but. I haven't really checked, but I gotta, I gotta figure out and let you guys know what, uh, what languages these are, so. But yeah, these are pretty cool. I like, um, I like this, this set with the white border. I do have this in my Marvel Flare binder, so, but. I don't know if I could fit all of these in uh, the 94 flare. <laughs> I'm definitely running out of space. Oh wait, this goes up to 122. I can't remember how many was in the Marvel flare set. I think it might've been a 150 card set, so.
and I think the numbering is the same exact thing as the as the regular set. Wait, did this say nineteen ninety three? Nineteen ninety three. And then this says nineteen ninety four. I wonder if that's the same with the with the regular cards. Yeah, I'm just looking at those tiny details. 1993. Huh. Um, yeah, I have a lot of stuff laying around, so I can't just pull out like all my binders for the Marvel Flare. But yeah, I'd definitely like to check it out and let you guys know like uh if that's supposed to be 1993 or 1994. Maybe that's a difference between these. Got Wolverine versus Omega Red. Got Blaze. Yeah, I, th I think these are all 95 or 94. I can't see it too well. I think it does say 94. It almost looks like a 6. But yeah, I think it is 1994. Wait, this one is 1991? Or is that 1994? Looks like it's 1991. Yeah, I need like a magnifying glass. It's kind of hard to see the the year 1990. Maybe this does change because I wasn't sure. So some of them are 1993, 1990. But, but I guess that would make sense because I think the Marvel Flare covered comic books that were produced within the years the previous years before it so and I think that's usually how card sets work they uh, they imitate the art from certain comic books so and I forget I forget what the Marvel Flare um, introduces I have to read each one and figure it out but I think it is uh, all are from comic books so I think that shows you right there which uh, actually which comic book it came from this might be the same as uh, I guess the Marvel annuals that uh, we have now but they do show show the comic that they came from but but since I don't read comic books I don't really know uh, that's why I'm missing like all of the new characters. I I can't determine who they are because uh, I don't see them unless you know they're uh, they show them on TV or they're for, in a movie or you know something I watch and that way I could like learn who they are. But besides that, like um, if they're not like a main character, yeah, I would. I wouldn't know them anymore because there's so many new characters, especially for the um, Marvel beginnings. I guess the same thing with Midnight Suns because there was a lot of characters in Midnight Suns that I didn't know. And, you know, uh, Midnight Suns is all of the pretty much like the darker, the dark side of um, Marvel. Where you have all your uh, dark characters and like your magical characters and um, your pretty much your scary characters that are not like uh, <laughs> in Avengers or X Men or Spider Man or Fantastic Four. I think those are like the four biggest teams right now. Anyway, so. You have all of these characters from because I think X-Men is uh, like the mutants Avengers are like because some of the Avengers are like uh, like Thor is a god so 
But I guess you have a uh, storm. She's like the closest one to being a god. Got Morpheus. Now we know we uh, there's a movie with Morpheus. Uh, Mary Jane. I think we are down to our last couple of cards. Oop. That's Galactus. Mm. Oh, I think this is a bad, uh, this is a very bad um, matchup for Daredevil. Uh, I think almost anyone except Nam Namor in water is like, in a very bad position like like i think namer is just super strong in water so but especially daredevil um i i would think it would mess with his senses like i, I don't think he'll be able to see namer with all the water current like flowing around him so But, you know, I don't really know how his power works, but maybe he has sonar. I'm not really sure uh, how his powers was working. If it was like through echolocation or... Um, I forgot how they showed it in the Daredevil movie. Because when it started raining, like, he started able to see Elektra um, it, through the raindrops. But, I don't know. If everything is just water, then I don't know how you would... You would see i guess but sonar works that way but i think it just measures distance it pings like uh like if there's something in front of you or not but yeah i don't know how he would fight namor though because even if he could see him and all of that he's you know every everyone's limited in water like you you move a lot weaker in water so but anyway it's a uh, it's all mutant stuff and it's all make-believe so <laughs> Um, but anyway, that is it for this episode of um, unboxing Marvel card, bootleg cards from the Philippines. So, um, as always, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.